Hello, welcome, good dog. Uh, here back. Today's video is going to be a shorter one than what uh, what I've posted before. Uh, just a quick one on cutting tenons uh, and and mostly how to mark them out. I mean, there's there's eight hundred thousand or I guess lay them out. There's eight hundred thousand videos out there on YouTube about how to cut the tenons. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you cut down and then you cut cut in. Boom! You cut out your tenon. Um, Typically, I won't take these shoulders off, uh, just to give me a little extra room for to pin them or draw board them, whichever I choose to do. Anyway, so laying them out. Again, I promised a, sh a quick video here. Uh, so first thing I'll do, and these are already pre-cut, so I apologize for that. I just, I don't have any other lumber I really wanna go through and, and, and get close right now. Um, but I did use this technique on these. Uh, so first thing I'll do is I take them, get them all close together. I get one side of them uh, straight across so that way they're all evenly spaced uh, and then I will clamp them together like so so that way I got one side that's even they're all nice and, and, and um, square together and everything like that and the other side I won't I won't mess with that I don't care if these are straight across as long as they're close a lot of times I may be uh, an eighth of an inch off between them quarter of an inch whatever that is that's fine um, and so in this case, I wanted one inch tenons. Um, and I know that my the, the rule on my square is one inch. So then I can come in and with my marking gauge and then I can mark this side. So that way this is all together and you can mark all the way around if you want or I, I just do it on one side then I can transfer the measurements around. Then I come over here and I can see, I can already see right here, see that what I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it necessarily, but uh, one of them is a little bit shorter than the others, and that's fine. I don't necessarily care about that because I can then use that shortest one, have that be an inch, mark across, um, and then I know that the distance between on on each one of my rails, the distance between shoulders. Is going to be identical if this is longer or shorter I don't care then I just know that on some of them I might have chopped them a little bit deeper some of them I don't have to go as deep that's fine uh, eventually when these get made it up to their mortises I can uh, that's pretty simple and easy to do but this way uh, I have every single one of these distances which is the critical distance uh, identical and then once I get these marked on one side I'll just take it out and then I transfer those measurements around e to each side and I cut from there. So that's how I uh, lay out my tenons. All right, thank you. Have a good day.